it, it, was, uh, it was hard growing up, uh, not having a lot of money and uh, having to sometimes, uh, if I honestly, I don't think I would have been going to college if I wasn't able to get scholarships. Two thirds of students have food insecurities and or housing insecurities and 23% had actually been homeless. That was profoundly moving for me to say, we need to do more than what a foundation traditionally does. This is something that people don't often think of. You know, when, when you come to college, they think the costs are your books and, you know, tuition and things like that. But we serve a population that sometimes um, might even struggle with food or with housing or with, uh, you know, something as, as simple to some people as a new tire in a car can be a game changer for a student because if they can't get that car fixed and they can't come to school, then they're out of the, they're out of the program. We would not be able to do what we do without the foundation and without donors in our community. And as far as what the support means, these students are, if you ask them individually, they'll tell you that even though they're only taking 12 to 14 credits, it's a full-time job or more. We have them in places as early as 6 o'clock in the morning and as late as midnight on some shifts. I am a single mom with four children and I'm going to school full time and I don't have time for um, a job right now because um, so having that scholarship is everything for me so it makes a huge difference. Um, I was in Portland originally so we, I was commuting um, for the first five weeks uh, every day. <laughs> Any time that you can take off the restrictions of, oh my gosh, how am I gonna pay for my tuition? How am I gonna pay to even get to school? How am I gonna pay for gas, for lodging if they don't live here? Uh, that is huge. I've received a couple scholarships this year um, and they are extremely helpful. I live about an hour and a half away, so gas is my busy, biggest expense. I'm really glad that I did have uh, this funding. You know, oftentimes we, we lose a lot of kids that will go off to university and they don't come back, you know, they, they get recruited elsewhere. And so to be able to use the Classic Community College as this really strong workforce development tool for us here, we're able to capture a lot of these kids that their parents are already working for Hampton or working for our contractors and be able to train them up right here and they don't even have to leave the area. Just with the FAFSA, I was struggling to stay in school because of childcare costs. Um, and then just with regular bills, rent, electricity, all that other stuff, I was barely skimming by. The scholarships gave me the, the ability to not only support my family, but also to put a little bit extra into savings and to build credit so I can financially create stability. Well, I heard about one scholarship and it's the ladies of AAUW, Ladies of Wings. And I applied for that one. I didn't get it the first time around, but I was told about the world of speed. And I applied for that one and I got it this past year. So I'm good until I think next year and then come spring, I'll reapply. And if you didn't receive the scholarship, how would that? Um, I'm not sure if I'd be able to make it to class. <laughs> In the scholarship program, keeping this, you know, it's just one more thing that's gonna keep this program alive. The work that we do to support students is only strengthened by the foundation. They have really expanded their role into looking at all ways in which they can support students, not just financially through scholarships, but through some of the basic needs that our students have and experience. So it's just, it's just been amazing. The story I tell ab nauseum about getting the memo from the college about uh, donating blankets or sleeping bags that I might have and that message was sent out to basically everybody connected with the college and the reasoning was that they had so many students living in cars and they needed something to keep them warm it's like man that wasn't the way college was when I went well I was told during orientation to try to apply for the magic scholarship and so it's definitely helped out financially a lot. So I received the Magic Fund Scholarship and it's a $1,500 scholarship and that will just go right to pay, like help pay for my tuition. One of the barriers, if you will, to me not going back to school earlier has definitely been that financial aspect of it, so. I will 
buy books with it, my textbook that are required for my courses. I've also bought um, school supplies like new pencils and binders for my classes. Uh, but even then I still have more money um, that I will spend on food and gas to come to school as well as at the cafeteria. All of this takes money. Um, not necessarily a lot of money, every little bit helps. Every little donation helps to add a little piece to what students can do.